this is Chijo again. Now what I'm going to be doing is uh, loading up a bunch of videos related to comic books and uh, creating a playlist especially for comic books. And what I wanted to do is to give you a heads up as to what the videos are that are coming and what some of the videos might be in the future that will be loaded on, right? Now, uh, in regards to comic books, uh, I've been a collector for 25 plus years now. I've even had a little stint as a publisher and I've even done uh, finishes on pages before the comics went to print. So comic books have been a pretty big part of my life. I've, I've got a nice comic book collection and I've uh, spent many, many, many moons, many hours uh, reading comic books and thoroughly immersing myself in their universe, right? Uh, so I figured uh, I'd share some of, I, some of that joy with you, right? Uh, just share some of, uh, some of my collection uh, and what I know of comic books, um, whatever I know of comic books, as much as I can anyway. And um, the reason this, this idea, the way this, uh, this concept came to me was uh, because I needed to um, make an introductory series uh, for economics, uh, for the language of mathematics and math in real life. And one thing I wanted to do was, um, you know, just talk about some of the basics, right? Uh, um, you know, graphing, uh, price fluctuations, short term, long term, uh, investing, and uh, so on and so forth, right? And I figured, um, and I have figured, basically, the best way to go about this is um, I do a little introductory series on the economics of comics. And this is going to be coming you know we're going to put this together once we've got enough material for the syntax of the language of mathematics to be able to apply it in the real world right now until we get to that point what i wanted to do is get the ball rolling on this so i put together some videos that are being loaded on youtube and um, there will be future videos coming on as well the first uh six videos or six of the videos is they're going to be loaded on random uh, six of the videos right now um, are going to be uh, sitting down with me and doing uh, readings. Uh, so we're going to look at six anthologies um, and we're going to pick a story, um, basically one story usually, uh, for five of them anyway. Um, we're going to pick one story from each and read them. And that will give you an idea of uh, the range of comic books, at least a little bit anyway that that we have now three of the anthologies that um, that i'm loading on are from the golden age uh, late golden age or golden age and early Sil silver age um, and three of the anthologies are from the late bronze age to early silver age from the 1980s and 90s okay um, as for what they are, um, we're going to be reading Jingle Jangle number 18 from 1945. We're going to be reading Mystic number, five, number 6 uh, from 1952. We're going to be reading um, Jack Gleason and the Honeymooners uh, number 12 from 1958. Okay. Uh, as for the more modern comics or Bronze Age, uh, we're going to be reading Primer number two and primer number five, the first appearance of Grendel and the first appearance of the Max. And we're going to be reading uh, Creatures of the Id, uh, which is the first appearance of Madman, which are basically the last three or three of the most important characters created uh, through independent publishing in the last, well, in comic book history, really. Uh, they're three of the major characters that have been introduced uh, independently um, in the comic book realm okay and uh, three of these books are behind me right now that's primer number two that's primer number five and this mystic uh, number six the reflection you see on the glass so those are six of the readings that we're doing for the anthologies um, there's also going to be three videos coming being loaded on how i frame comic books um, and i got my hands on some frames and and um, I decided to rotate some of the comic books I had in the frames and two of the frames anyway. So um, ended up, um, you know, figured might as well video it and share it with you guys. Uh, one of them is uh, we framed uh, Daredevil number one. Okay, and that's the first appearance of Daredevil um, from 1964, I think. 
And then we ended up framing uh, priming number two and priming number five and uh, ended up framing uh, Mystic number six. And the other one is a 1945 comic, uh, which is uh, Punch Comics number 14. Okay. Now, two of the videos have me commenting and having a little commentary going. Uh, I couldn't stop talking for some reason. And uh, one of the video framings is just framing without commentary. Okay. So those are the videos that are going to be loaded up in this first batch. And there will be future videos coming regarding comic books. Uh, maybe doing more readings. I might decide to, you know, rotate the comics through again. If I ever decide to take these comics out, those are... Um, all EC comics from the 1950s or so, um, but uh, those those guys EC comics I absolutely love. So I like looking at those. But I might pull those out, and um, they're I think most of them are anthologies. So I might have a read through a couple of stories from each or one story from each. Okay. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention is uh, regarding the readings now. I usually don't read out loud. Um, I'm a slow reader. Uh, sometimes I read words backwards. Sometimes I read words that aren't there. Okay. Uh, when I read comic books, I, you know, read and then there might be major pauses because I read a little and I look at the imagery and then I go back to where I'm reading or pick up a little bit earlier to let the information sink in. Right. Um, so. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not the best reader in the world and I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. So please be patient um, if, uh, if I'm not being uh, very accurate in my reading and you find mistakes. Um, this is sort of new to me. I don't read out loud, uh, but I really wanted to share um, the beauty of comic books with you and figured I'd, you know, produce some of these videos. But hopefully, just like anything, I will improve with time and uh, uh, become more accurate in what I'm reading and how I'm presenting these comics to you. Okay, And uh, that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoy those videos. And uh, any of you that are interested in taking a look at some of the comics I have in my collection, um, I went through some long boxes and pulled, uh, pulled some stacks there behind me. And I took uh, three of the short boxes that I have in my collection and brought them out here. And we'll take a look at uh, some of the comics I have in my collection in the next video. And uh, hopefully you do enjoy. And uh, for those of you that are following me, um, that are subscribed to my channel for the ASMR um, videos, almost all these videos have a serious ASMR slant to them. Uh, and I hope you enjoy. Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.